In this live stream session, we're going to be playing Hong Kong Mahjong at Mahjong Time. If you would like to try out Mahjong Time, look for my email in the video description below and I can send you a 30-day VIP code. I'm going to turn on the live stream now. If you do not see live in the corner of this video, you're watching the repost. I hope you enjoy the session. Whether or not we're live, write any comments about Hong Kong Mahjong in the comment section below and I'll try to help you learn how to play this great game. It's a lot of fun and it's a wonderful form of entertainment. I hope you decide to give Mahjong time a try. Let's go live. We're live. We are going to be playing Hong Kong Mahjong at Mahjong time. It looks like we have a lot of tables, so we should be able to get some good Mahjong in tonight. We could play both quick Mahjong, which are, you know, five minutes or so each, and then we have rounds. The rounds are where you play multiple games. I think any table with one round is four games, and then two rounds is eight games, I believe. So let's see. If you need the player reference, look for a link below the video because that is where you can find the Hong Kong Mahjong player reference. I was just looking for mine and I can't find it. There it is. Right there. Cantonese with Hong Kong old style scoring. That's also known as Hong Kong Mahjong. As far as I know. There are a couple of ways to score for Hong Kong Mahjong. There's Hong Kong old style and Hong Kong new style. Welcome to the live stream. We're going to be playing Hong Kong Mahjong tonight. Hopefully we will have good connectivity because it's been very stormy in Georgia today. We've been uh, out of internet for, I don't know, four times today. So uh, we'll see. Hi, Carol. Welcome. I hope you enjoy learning about Hong Kong Mahjong. It's really the easiest version to learn comparatively. It's like Remy. You have to get four sets and a pair. The sets can be three in a sequence, which is called a chow, or three of a kind, which is called a pung. Four sets and a pair. That's all you need. We'll play some zero fawn tables where you can have any combination. You don't have to have any score. So if you're new, just join a zero fawn table, zero minimum points. And that way you can just learn to build four sets in a pair, no matter what the score is. When you play at a table with minimum points, that's where you have to be concerned about having scoring elements as components of your hand. Otherwise you won't be able to win. So hopefully there'll be lots of opportunity to learn in this live stream. And you could always watch my videos. I've got all kinds of random polls, solitaire, and strategy theory for Hong Kong Mahjong. Uh, all the videos for Hong Kong Mahjong are in um, kind of, um, I think I have it as, well, green. Bamboo. We'll call it bamboo. Yeah. Or jade, I guess, will work. So... Look for videos with that coloring, green and white, and those are all Hong Kong Mahjong videos. Hi, Jingles. Welcome. Okay, so let's see. Six inches of snow in, in Illinois. Oh my goodness. It's very springy here in Georgia, but man, oh man, did we have a monsoon today. It's really nice right now, though. Blue sky, sun, shine. I mean, it's beautiful right now, but earlier, when I was grocery shopping... It was a monsoon and I got drenched. But yeah, that's springtime and I, I personally love it. I love the rain. Okay, so let's go ahead and join a table. We'll join a zero fawn table, okay? That way we can play any combination with our blocks. Four sets in a pair, that's all you need. So we're gonna even do a chicken hand if we have to. That means no score. Chicken hands allowed in a zero fawn table. So let's see what happens. Q 
can everybody see and hear me okay? And also, I've, I've been having trouble with chat. Let's see, live chat, live. It doesn't look like my, my chat is coming through on my live stream software. Let's see, let me test. Okay, I need to pay attention to the game too. Okay, my, my chat is not working, I don't know why. All right, let's focus. So, we need four sets in a pair. Three, in a, three of a kind or three in a sequence. That's all we're trying to do here. So, let's go ahead and get rid of the dragons. They are not very efficient. You, you can only pair or pung or kong because there's four of everything. So, with dragons, you cannot chow with dragons. So number tiles are much more flexible. Since those are singles, we're, we're going to get rid of them. So you can see we have a six, seven in BAMs. That's a potential chow. We have a one that is isolated. So that would be a really good discard. We have a four, five, a five, seven, and there's a one, two, three chow. And then we have a four, six, and a seven. So we've got lots of chow potential except for the one crack. So if we get a turn, we can discard the one crack. White dragon. East wind. Okay, we have a two. Let's get rid of the one crack. One character. We do have to have a pair in here still. So maybe we could do a three, four, wow. five, and a six, seven, eight, and then use the twos Nine as wind. a pair. Now this is usually a very quick game. Right now we're at our third discard, so at any time somebody could win. Two dots. Okay, one, two, three. Let's go ahead and chow with a one, two, three. Chow. Okay, and now let's go ahead and discard the four dot. Oops. Seven Oops. characters. If you're not fast enough, the game will discard for you. I was trying to double click on the four dot and I wasn't quick enough. So if you're not quick enough, the game will discard for you. Hmm. One character. Okay, we got a three. Let's discard the four crack. So now we have a two, three, four, mm. a six, seven. We have a pair of fives. We could pung the five so. or the two, and we have child potential with the mm -hmm. six, seven, bam. Seven dots. Mahjong. There's somebody won. So we were set up with chow potential, but somebody won with one fawn. They have no flowers, so they had a chicken hand. They have no score in this hand at all, and let me tell you why. They have a pung of one bams, and then they have chows in mixed suits. That's why their hand has no value. Anytime you mix chows in different suits with a pung, your hand will have no value if they're all number tiles. Now, if you have a valued honor, like a, your seat wind or a pung of dragons, those will have value. But in this case, we have all number tiles, mixed suits, mixing chows and pungs. That's a chicken hand in Hong Kong Mahjong. So I hope that makes sense. Let's look and see what this player was doing. Here we have, it looks like they were trying to get to all pung, all three of a kind. They have two pungs out. Uh, they are in the west seat, so that pung in north is not going to give them any value. And then they, it looked like they maybe were going to try to pung the two crack and then pair up and pung. That would have been an all pung hand, which is three fun. And that's decent. They also could have chowed the five, seven, and even the two, four, but that would again be, have been a chicken hand. Because if they did that, they would be mixing pungs with chows in mixed suits. And then, of course, over here, we are trying for all chow, which would be one fine. So I hope that makes sense to everybody. Let me know if you have any questions about Hong Kong Mahjong. It's pretty easy. Four sets in a pair. The sets could be anything. Unless you're playing at a table with minimum score like an eight fawn table. That's where you need to have, or eight points, that's where you need to have three fawn. And that's where this comes in, the player reference. 
the scoring is in here and you could see the different components of a hand that can give you score. I hope that makes sense. Let's go ahead and see if we can join another table. Here's another quick Mahjong. This is going to be another zero fawn table. So we're gonna to need to play a chicken hand, quite possibly. And I'm gonna still need to get some help with chat. I don't know why it is not working. Let me switch to... Red Dragon. Let's see, pop out. White Dragon. We're gonna pung, that's a pung of dragons. Mm. Okay, so that's good. And let's try for all pung. We have three pair. Mm -hmm. All we need is a pair in here. Anytime you have four pair, go for all pung. Green dragon. So we can pung any of these pairs if they go down or we draw into Green them. Dragon. So there's another pair. We're good to go Green for all pung. Dragons. All pung is a great hand. And you can mix suits with all pung, because that's mm. three fawn. Pungs are more valuable than chows. Okay, there's a pung. We're going to take it. And it's okay if we mix suits. Not a problem. So right now we have two pungs, including a pung of dragons. A pung of dragons is a fawn all by itself. Nine characters. We're going to get rid of that. We have our pairs. We're ready to pung any one of these. We just have to wait for them to either be discarded or we draw them. Okay, there's a pung. Hmm. And we're going to discard. Now we're ready to win on either a three dot or a six bam for an all pun Nine hand. Bamboos. And you can see it's mixed suit, but that's okay. Now if it were one suit, it would be even more valuable. So, or one suit with honors, as it would, have, would be in this case if we had like all bams. North wind. So we need to try to get a three dot or a six bam. That's what we're looking for. Six dots. Oh, I thought that could have been it. West wind. We don't want that. One bamboo. Mahjong. You're kidding. We were set up. We were set up so nicely, and they got a chicken hand. They basically had flowers. This is painful. They basically had, what did they have here? Nothing. They didn't even have any valuable flowers. They had zero score, period. That is a major chicken hand. Maybe we should call that a rooster hand, which would be worse than a chicken hand. Can you tell I don't like chicken hands? Your chat is on. Okay. Yeah, I'm just, let's see. Oh, good. Okay, so it needs to be on top chat. Let me test it again. Testing chat. Okay, we got it to work. Thank you, Jingles. Okay, so let's go ahead and join another quick Mahjong. We're going to join a zero font table, and then we're going to go to a eight font minimum. This is where you're going to need to have score, but we're going to go ahead and kind of alternate between zero font and eight font so that you can kind of get a feel for the difference. So we just need another player here. That all pung hand would have been really nice. All pung and a dragon pung, that would have been four font. But you got to get there fast. You could see, I think that was maybe three or four discards and that person won with a chicken hand. Uh, okay, here we go. Zero fawn. We need to win as quickly as we can, even if it means a chicken hand. So four sets in a pair. That's what we want. Four sets in a pair. We have mixed suits and single honors. We have one, two, three, four pair. We're going to go for all pung. We're in East Seat. The East can bring us value. If you have a pung of your seat wind, you can get value. But we do have four pair of number tiles. All we need after that is another pair. So I think I'm going to get rid of the... Uh, no, we're not going to chow. We're going for all pung. Six crack. Let's, let's just get rid of the winds and dragon. They're singles. They're not going to help. And people might be holding on to them for score, so you may never get them. Let's focus on number tiles. Red dragon. We just need to pung. 
So we're now on our second round of discards. Second round of discards. We do have some chow potential, but let's see, one, six, eight, five, six, six, seven, leaving an isolated seven. Two, three, leaving an isolated two. I, I think if you have chow potential with a bunch of pairs, look and see if you make a chow, will it leave an isolated tile? That's a good indicator that you might be better off playing a pung hand. Like in this case, if we, if we do a chow with a two, three crack, it's going to leave an isolated two. If we chow with the six, seven crack, it'll leave an isolated seven. Um, so that's why I think in this case, going for all pung would be better. So now we're at one, two, three, four. We're in our fifth round of discards. So this is going to get, let's get rid of the six crack. We're kind of getting kind of late in the game, as it were, even though it's only like the fifth discard. In Hong Kong Mahjong, somebody invariably wins with a chicken hand. Now that's looking pretty. Half flush, maybe. Five characters. Okay, we need to pair up. So we're going to get rid of tiles that have been discarded already. The two dot is out. The eight dot is out. That'll be a good discard. Because we still need to pair up one more time. Four characters. And of course, we need to pung Eastman. these pairs. Any pair is a potential pung. White dragon. Oh, we would have had a pair there, but it would have only been a pair, probably. Oh. Okay, there's one of our sevens. Nine bamboos. Five characters. Eight crack. Let's get rid of the eight dot. Eight dot. Mahjong. Let's see what they got. I see a chow and I see a pung. They're going to have a chicken hand. But they have no, no flowers. If you have no flowers, that's a fawn. But the hand that they have, all the tiles that make up their 14 tiles, is a chicken hand. Oh, chow hand. No, wait. They have a, oh, this pung. If you take the four with the two, three, four, so they have all chow. All chow, self-drawn, no flowers. So that was decent. All right, well, I hope you all can get an idea there of what it's like to play Hong Kong Mahjong. Four sets in a pair. Sets can be three of a kind or three in a sequence. Let's see, here's, a, here's another zero fawn. Let's do that one again. Does anybody have any questions about Hong Kong Mahjong? Oh, we're starting already. Okay, wish me luck. We haven't had a win yet. We got close once. Oh, look, we have two pair dragons. Oh, dragons. Nine so we have two pair with dragons. We have a pair of five bams. We have chow potential with a one, two. So with the one, two, that's a block. Fives, that's a block. That's two. And then the dragon pairs, those are potential pungs. So that's one, two, three, four blocks. All we need now is a pair. So you need four blocks. Those blocks can be chows or pungs or kong. Okay, let's get rid of the west. west win. So we're going to pung and chow as best we can here. One you want to win as quickly as you can because that's the way everybody plays with Hong Kong Mahjong. You win as quickly as you can Nine and you really minutes. don't pay much attention to score. It's more about speed yeah. to Mahjong. The first one Eight there, dots. as quick as you can. So there's a, let's get rid of the isolated one. one the six and nine dot are isolated, so those will be good ones to get rid of. Really, the six, eight, nine here is a, a little redundant with the six or the nine. We don't need both, so those might be good discards too. Three dots. So we'll just have to see. Oh, there's another potential pair. Let's get rid of the nine dot. Nine dots. So we now have two more pair in there. We could do all pung if the timing is right with either discards or picks. Seven characters. So we need a two bam, five bam, and the dragons, and then we just need to pair up. One dot. Four bam, let's get rid of six dot. 
We could probably play a half flush here. But then there's a Mahjong. Let's see what we got here. Pung of East Wind. Pung of the Prevailing Wind. Pung of the Wind of the Round. The rest of their hand has zero value. Okay, well, let's look over here. Here we had Mixing Chows and a Pung of Wind. And they're in the South Sea. This would have been a chicken hand. No score. Because they're mixing chows with different suits and a pung. Zero points. Over here, we have all chow, probably. Six, seven with the bams. Two, three, four. Pair of sixes. Seven, eight with cracks. They were one away from ready on a chow, all chow hand. And then over here, this beautiful hand could have been all pung with two dragon pungs. But when you're, when you're going for a big hand like all pung, dragon pungs, usually the chicken hand is going to win. So keep that in mind. If you join a zero fawn table, try not to focus on score. Just win. Win. It's, it's just down and dirty. Maybe we could call that a dirty win. But any win is a good win. If, if you're playing for score, though, that takes a little longer. So let's go ahead and join a table with score this time so you can see the difference. So I'm going to look for a table with eight fawn minimum, that or eight points minimum. That equates to three fawn. So now we're going to need to get score. This is where you want to play all pung, half flush, uh, valued honors, which would be your seat win, your wind of the round, or a dragon pung, uh, and, and flowers as well. So... Um, flowers are bonus tiles and I I'm not I think those are counted in your minimum points for Hong Kong Mahjong so let's see if we can find a table to join here you just click on tables to, to sort uh, we have a, a five minimum point there here's an eight usually the the tables with a minimum are in rounds you can see that these are all around. So let's go ahead and just start one. Okay, let's see. Are chicken hand any good? If you're playing at a zero font table, chicken hands are just fine. But I don't like chicken hands. I've been training myself to play them though because when you play at a zero font table, you've got to be able to win with any combination, including a chicken hand. Um, if, if you are trained to go for score, it's going to be painful. But one reason why I've been training myself to play chicken hands is because I also play Mahjong competition rules. And one of the hands in Mahjong competition rules is called a chicken hand. But it's a little more complicated in Mahjong competition rules because there are additional scoring elements that could be in that hand that you have to train for. For example, no honors, terminal pung, avoided suit, tile hog, things like that. So it's a little more complicated. But for Hong Kong Mahjong, four sets in a pair, you can mix it up as however you want and just win with four sets in a pair. Three in a sequence or three of a kind. It doesn't matter what the combination is if you're at a zero fawn table. I hope that makes sense. So instead of waiting, let's go ahead and just join this zero fawn table. We'll play another zero fawn. Let's see what we can do. I'd rather play than wait. I do want to join a, a pointed table though, so you can see the difference in the hands. So here we have a mixture of bams, cracks, and dots, all singles. We have no multiples at all. We have only chow potential right now. So because of that, I think we should hold number tiles because they're more efficient. They're more, they're more, oh, look at all these. Okay, let's get rid of the four crack. And here I am. See, this is my problem. I, I am a player who likes to score. I, I like having a hand of value. Okay, so chicken hands are really hard for me. And when I see all these honors, Lord. I want to leverage them. But you could see that people are discarding okay. them. There's only four of every tile. So there are no jokers here. You, you have to be able to pair up and pong. So for example, the north is going to be 
the only way we can use the north is going to be in a, in a pair. And who knows where that other north is. So the east now, there are two east out. There are two west out. Everybody is throwing the winds. So these are of no value to us. So we might as well discard them now. They look pretty at the beginning, but unless you pair up, they're worthless or near worthless. They, they lose value very quickly if you're playing at a zero fun table especially. You can see everyone has been discarding them Okay, now there's one more south out. We're in the west seat. It is east round. So even if we pung that south, it'll be of no value. Okay, let's chow. Chow. And then we'll discard this three dot. We're just going to try to chow and pung. We have a chow there. If we pung the seven nine dots and then pung the south, and then get any pair in here, that'll be a chicken hand. Oh, hi, Mary. Thank you very much for the offer. Oh, look, we have, let's get rid of the, seven, the six dot. So here we have a pair of dragons. There are no dragons out right now. So a dragon pung is a fawn. Let's see if we can get a dragon pung. Now I almost wish I hadn't a chowed. Three characters. Five dot. Five dot. Mahjong. Mahjong. I'll chow. I'll chow on flower. Too fun. Very nice. That's decent. At a zero fun table, that's great. Okay, let's look and see what everybody else was doing though. We, oh, we're in a round. Oh no. Ah. Uh, I thought this was a one game table. Now we're in a chicken hand table for a whole round. Oh no. Oh shoot. All right, we gotta get serious now. We need to really <laughs> figure this out now. Shoot, okay, we're gonna try for, um, we need to just try to win here. Oh, we're in a round, darn it. I didn't wanna do a round at a zero fun table. Oh, all right. <sighs> All right, let's see what we can do here. We're going to try to get this dragon pung. Let's just pung and chow. No holds barred. If we can pair up. No, okay, I need to not think that way. We need to just pung and chow as best we can. All these single honors, painful. There's a east out, there's a west out. We're in a uh, south seat. Seven bamboo. Five bam. Two bamboos. All these tiles in here are connected. We can pung and chow all in here. Seven we have a one, two, three, potential three, five, Eight three, bamboo. four, five, potential pung in there. Bamboo. Let's pung. pung. And we can discard. Let's get rid of these single wins. Win. I'm hoping we can pung this uh, dragon. Green dragon. Pung. pung. We'll get rid of the east. East wind. South wind. Four characters. South wind. Let's get rid of the south. South wind. There was only one more left. Who knows where it is? East wind. In Hong Kong Mahjong, you see these tiles here to the left? They're really dark. That's the dead one wall character. or the flower wall. That's where you get your replacement tiles for flowers and Kongs. Any of the tiles you might need could be in there. You never, never know. Okay, we're ready to win on a five bam. And this would be a, um, the only value we have here is the dragon pung. Because we've mixed suits with pungs and chows. But we are ready to win on a five bam. Let's hope we can get it. Three characters. We need a five bam. And there are none out. One dot. 
Chow. Two dots. We need that five bam. Nine characters. Three bam, five bam. Neither one of these are out. Three bamboo. Five bams in the middle. Might have been better to keep the three one on the edge, especially because the twos are out. People would be less Nine likely to want to chow with a three bam. Seven bamboos. Mahjong. Somebody got mahjong with a dragon pung hand. Dragon pung seat flower. So their number, their north, their number four, they have a four flower. That's why they got a score for that. And then they have a pung of dragons, two fawn. And we're negative 12. Okay, here we go. All right. So, <laughs> single honors, one pair. So, let's keep number tiles for efficiency. When we'll discard the, the single honors. Chow, try to chow. Chow like the wind. Green dragon. North wind. Okay, we got an eight. So we have a little redundancy there. Hmm. Six, eight, nine. All we need nine is a seven. Dots. But that would leave an isolated six Ten. or nine. We'll see. Three bamboo. We're just going to gather number tiles here. Hmm. Eight Thank you, Jingles. I do get a little discouraged with chicken hands. It does affect me and I go on tilt. Ten. I'm just being real. The struggle is real. It is real. East wind. We do have lots of cracks. Nine bamboos. And we're in the hole. Maybe we should play six a big dot. hand. We'll get rid of the six dot next. Five characters. No, West is out. West wind. West wind. North wind. So we just need to chow here. We got lots of chow potential. Four dots. There's a pair, potential pair. Let's get rid of the six, six dot. Dots. That is totally isolated. Right now we have two, two pair. Dots. There's a green dragon Ten. out, so that might be a good discard. Six characters. Nine bamboos. Okay, let's get rid of the green. green so now we have a pung in here, and we have one, two, pung. three potential chows. Five dots. So we have a dragon pung over here. They were holding a pair of dragons. This is why you don't want to wait on honors when you have singles because people typically are going to try to hold them for score. Okay, we have a two. We could break up this one crack pung into a one, two, three chow. So we have all kinds of chow potential in here. But now this player across west, they have three exposures, three melds right now. They're probably getting pretty close at the Two moment. Bamboos. There's a four, five. We have a little redundancy. Let's get rid of the nine, nine crack. We have re we have nine redundancy nine. there. We we could maybe six, seven chow, six, seven, eight. Okay, there's a win. So they have one fawn. They had a self pick. That was their score. Self pick. Over here. Oh, you know we don't have time to analyze. The game's gonna throw in the tiles on us, so we can't analyze in a round. That's kind of why I like to play the single quick win, quick mahjong, so we can kind of look at everybody's hand just for to analyze what everyone was doing as a way to learn. So let's see what we can do here. One single honor, all number tiles. We do have a pair of threes. I think we should try for all chow. chow. All three in a sequence here. South wind. Uh, hi, Josh. Yeah, it is a lot of fun. It's very flexible. It's really quick. It's it's a very, the games are very quick. So if you have a short attention span, <laughs> this is a good game for you. I'm not saying that's good or bad. It's just what it is. It's usually a very quick game, especially if you're playing at a zero fawn table. We're not going to do anything with that. 
If you have to break a child or make a child, leaving an isolated tile, don't do it. If we had taken that one, that one for a two, three, it would have left an isolated two one. Dots. So if you break a child to make a child, leaving an isolated tile, it's better to stay concealed. White dragon. We've got a three, so let's get rid of the one crack. One character. So now we have a pair, a one, two, three, dot, three, four, one five, dot, dragon. six, seven, potential, seven, nine, potential, two, three, potential. We're one away from ready. East and we're concealed at the moment, which I think Mahjong. there's a Mahjong. And that's going to be a chicken hand. Oh no, they have a pung of the wind of the round and they have a flower. So they got two fun. And the same player won every single game. And I, looks like it, I, I threw into every single one of them. Not good. Oh, that was painful. Okay, no more. I'm not going to do any more zero fawn. It's just, it's affecting me. So uh, I need a break from zero fawn. Let's look at um, an eight point, eight point quick mahjong. Or no, we can't. We have to do a round. Let's see here. Hi, Marsha. Awesome. That'd be awesome, Marsha. I would love to play with you. Mary said she could play too. Have a nice dinner. Okay, let's see. We need to find a table. Let's play some something with score so you can see the difference because it is different. Here is an eight fawn minimum, one round. So it's gonna we're gonna play multiple games. This we're going to be required to have three fawn minimum. So it, it's gonna have a little different flavor. Same game, four sets and a pair, but you have to have score. No more chicken hands. So we, we're going to have time to build up a good hand, a big, a higher value hand. So here uh, we have three pair. I think we should try for all pung. And the east could bring value. So let's go ahead and get rid of the, th oops, well, that'll be fine. I want a pung. So we have three pair already. Any one of these number tiles would have been an okay discard. Since we want to pair up and pung, we can pung that. Hmm. All pung is three fawn, so we're just going to get rid of three. number tiles that are singles at the beginning. Okay. It's a little arbitrary, um, but if you hold terminals, typically those are going to be discarded. We're not going to take that. Okay, we got a two crack. I, none of these, are, the nine bam is out, so we'll nine discard bam that. Bam typically, bam. Terminals are discarded more than the internal number tiles, two mm -hmm. through eight. So if you hold terminals, you can typically pair up and pung mm -hmm. easier. Okay, we paired up again. So that's good. Let's get rid of the four crack. Four so now we have three pair that we're going to be able to pung. All we need in here is another pair. Seven and we can always be waiting on a pair. Three characters. And incidentally, if you're waiting on a pair... Try not to have it be an honor, a wind or a dragon. You want it to be a number tile because you may never get it. Let's get rid of the seven bam. Seven bamboo. And uh, let's see, we have a four dot. No four dots are out. Right now, no east are out. It's a single tile though, so it's not gonna help us. It's not gonna help us until we pair up. Green dragon. There's a four dot. Let's get rid of the east because we have all the pairs we need now. There's no sense holding onto a tile that could bring value to somebody else. So at this point, we can pung all these pairs. It's just a matter of time now. So let's get rid of the eight bam. We're just gonna wait for our pung tiles to go down or we'll draw them. So we're trying for all pung and that's three fun. That meets the minimum. We'll pung. And discard. Five dots. I have got to learn how to play a chicken yeah. hand. I've been training. Obviously, I need more training. East wind. Oh, it's harder than you think, actually. Two bamboos. Six bam. Oh, I discarded a six bam. We can get rid of this seven crack Five next. Bamboos. We just need one more pung. There we go. Pung. Hmm. And we'll discard the seven. Now we're ready to win on a two crack or a nine crack. 
And we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine discards. So it's a little long. You want to try to be ready to win in six discards. Two bamboos. That's been discarded. That was a good safe tile. Even though there were three nine bams out, that could have been taken as a chow tile. But the player to my right is in dots. Three bamboos. So they would not have taken a bam. They're going to be in dots. When you play at a table with minimum... Oh, they got it. Half flesh. We are ready on a all pung. So they have a half flesh, dots, and honors. They have a pung of dragons, and they have their own flower. So five fawn. That's a great hand. And I toss the tile, by the way. So let's brush off and try again. So that was in, what did I say, nine discards, something like that. All right, so we have mixed suits. We do have two pair, lots of flowers. Let's see, let's get rid of the five dot. So I'm looking at my flowers. We have, let's pung and get rid of the two. two dots. So let's see, we have Three five bands. flowers. Six characters. We need a one flower. Two dots. The we need a one flower Six. for a bouquet. That's where you have all one set. One through four. four. Let me see. Yeah, there's it's not out. If we get the one flower we'll have a bouquet. And that's too fawn. One bamboo. We're gonna pung. Pung. If we can get Bamboo. that one flower, that would be sweet. It would be. Characters. We're gonna pung. Pung. Two okay, characters. we need to pair up right now. This is not good. Six we need. Characters. We need more. We need pairs. We need two more pairs. Seven characters. And that one flower, if we can. Spring. That's what we want. The spring tile. Nine but anybody could get it. It's pure luck. Oh, someone else Eight got characters. it. Ah, bummer. Okay, so we're in South Seat. We have one of our our own flowers. That's a fawn. So right now we need to pair up. That's that's where we're at right now. We need a good pair tile. Two dots. Because once we pair up, then we can win by waiting on a pair. Yeah, this is a lot faster than in any other version, really. Nine characters. White dragon. Somebody got my flower. I'm kind of sad. That would have been a really nice score. Any one of these, we need to pair up. East wind. Oh, having a turn would help. East wind. Six bamboos. Okay, we'll Kong. Four Kong. characters. We got a nine bam. Let's get rid of the three bam. Three bamboos. There's a three bam out. There's a five Seven bam out. Bam. That'll be a good one to discard next. White dragon. Because you want to give yourself the opportunity to pair up. Six There's only four of every tile. Let's get rid of the five bam. Five bamboos. Oh, the five crack would have been fine too. There are three out. Seven characters. Three but bamboo. Mahjong is a great game. It's a lot of fun to play online, but even live, when you play in a group live, it's even more Seven fun characters. because you make friends. Five and characters. it's a very social game. So you can play and talk and eight eat bamboo. and drink. And uh, I mean, it, it really is a lot of fun. Mahjong. Somebody got a win. We were one away from all pung. Okay, so they have a pung hand, all pung, all three of a kind. They have no flowers. When you have no flowers, that's a fawn. Okay, so we're in last place right now. Okay, two questions. Josh has two questions. One, do kongs add fawn? No. The pungs is what counts. Four of a kind, you get a replacement tile, so you get a second pick in that replacement tile. Um, in, in live games, there are house rules where a Kong will get you automatic payout cash. Like, 
In my group, we pay a quarter. You get it 25 cents for a Kong. And in, in a lot of private live games, you get an automatic payout established by the group. Second question, because we are in crack and bams, do we... Okay, hold on one second. Let's get rid of the dragon. We have one, two, three pair. So we're going to try to pung. We're going to try for all pung. Okay, because we are in crack and bams, do we get extra for voiding dots? No. Voiding a suit is not part of Hong Kong Mahjong. You need a half flush if you want score. Half flush is one suit with wins or one suit. Let's get rid of the nine. Nine. We have four pair now. Um, for Hong Kong Mahjong, the go-to hands, as it were. Okay, we're going to pung. We'll discard uh, two dot. So the go-to hands for quick, um, uh, quick three fawn, which is typically uh, a good guideline. Most of the tables at Mahjong time are eight points, which equates to three fawn. Three fawn go-tos are half flush. Oh, two dot. We had that. Uh, okay, so um, go-to three fawn hands are half flush, one suit with wins and dragons. Any combination. Uh, that's one. The other is all pung. Mixed suit is fine. All pung. All three of a kind. We're going to pung. Anytime. There it goes. Okay, now none of these are eight crackers out. So uh, all pung is a good three fawn go to. So half flush, all pung. Also, if you have pungs of dragons or your seat or wind of the round, those are other ways that you can get good score. So um, I, I hope that helps. And in my exercise videos, I talk about all that. In random pulls, solitaire, strategy theory, I talk through all those different sort of scenarios. And also comparing when you play at a zero font table versus a minimum font table. Okay, so we just paired up again with a three bam. So we're good to go on an all pung hand. It's just a matter of getting there before anybody else. Seven characters. All we need to do now is pung. Chow. Five dots. Four dots. Okay, so Josh, I hope those uh, answers to your questions Seven help. Characters. West wind. One of the other great things about Mahjong is um, playing live anyway, that it, it's a very tactile game. It's, it's um, you know, touching the tiles, feeling them, manipulating them, hearing them, the clickety clack, all that is part of the culture of the game that makes it a lot of fun. Okay, one bam is out. One bamboo. This eight dot is a fresh tile. So I, someone might be wanting that. Ciao. I'm going to have to discard it too. I, I need to discard it. This player across from us, north, they could be in, in a half flush. Seven dots. We'll Kong. Two bamboo. Kong. We'll discard the eight dot. That's a risky tile. Okay. So this west is a good safe tile. There are three out. It's a perfect discard. Nine dots. We, we need this win, because hmm. right now we're in last place. All pun mixed suits. Two It'll do if we can get there. Five there are no one cracks out, and there are no six cracks out right now. Chow. This player to my left, they're not going to have enough score. They have all chow. Six they're not going to be able to win. They, all chow is one fawn. Unless they get their own flowers, one and their I ha and that's not going to happen because there's only one, or there's only two for each seat, and they're already taken, so they can't win. They only have one fawn, and this is an this is a three fawn minimum, so they can't win. South wind. Six bamboo. We need a one crack or a six crack. Josh, did the answers to those questions help uh, clear things up a little? White dragon. Oh. 
At least it was safe. North wind. We need a one crack or a six crack to win here. Nine this is a pretty long game for Hong Kong Mahjong. Eight bamboo. Two characters. Three dots. Seven bamboos. Okay, good. Six characters. Oh, we gotta win. All pum. Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay, so three fawn, all pun hand, three fawn. Okay, so we're not in last place anymore. <laughs> we're in third place. Okay, so let's see, you are watching a competition video about voiding a suit. Oh, okay. Yeah, Mahjong competition rules is um, really, um, it's easy to play, but it's difficult because of all the scoring elements. You have to really know the scoring elements when you play that version and that's the complexity for that style. We are the dealer, so we have to make a decision. We have four cracks, three bams, three dots, single honors. We have a pair of west, we're in east seat. Let's go ahead and give up the six band. Six I think we're gonna need to try to either pair up and pum in mixed suits or we're gonna need to do a half flush with cracks. So we're just going to start whittling down on these offsuit tiles. And of course, there we get a bam. One bamboo. So uh, Mahjong competition rules is based on Hong Kong Mahjong or Cantonese style where you need four sets and a pair. But there are some exceptions to the rules. And uh, if you want to know more about uh, uh, Mahjong competition rules, watch the videos that have a purple and green. It's kind of a purple or I don't know what is purple um, Five dots. amethyst Six bamboos. Um, Nine you want to watch the the mahjong competition rules have a purple and green thumbnail One dot. and I, I'm training this takes a while to learn because they have 81 scoring Six elements dots. we do not want that we need cracks we're, we're going for a half flush here. We need to get rid of all these dots. dots. And this is going to take a while. Three dots. We can chow and we can pung, and that'll get rid of two of them. Okay, so we'll get rid of the five dot. Five we need to pair up these honors. But you can see everybody's holding honors because they bring value. Nobody's discarding them. This is why you don't want to rely on them too much because you may never get them. Right now, we're kind of forced to. Okay, we, we, we paired up one of the dragons. So we got a little lucky right there. So now we're going to be able to pung a dragon, maybe. We can maybe pung the nine crack and chow with the one, two, four somewhere. The north is out. We could probably discard that here in a minute. Okay, Gloria, how do you get a Kong if you have already played a pung and don't get it? Well, if you have a Pung exposed and you draw the fourth tile, you can add to your declared Kong and extend it, or declared Pung and extend it to a Kong. That's one of the differences with Hong Kong or Asian versions where even though you have an exposure with a, a Pung, you can add to it if you draw the tile. If it is discarded, then you're out of luck. You cannot add to it. Three and as as I said earlier with Josh's question, you don't get additional value with a Kong for Hong Kong Mahjong. Mahjong. Somebody got it. Oh, we had a nice start here. They have a half flesh with a pair of dragons and all chow. Okay, we're back to last place. We need a big hand. We need to do something big. Maybe we can force 13 orphans. Okay, if you haven't downloaded the player reference, you need to download it. 13 Orphans is on there. It's one of each one and nine, one of each Wind and Dragon with any tile paired. It's a 10 fawn hand. We have Dragons and Honors. We're going to go for Half Flesh. We're going to just get rid of these, these tiles here. We're going to collect Cracks and Honors. Let's see if we can get there before anybody else. This is, a, this is actually a pretty good start because we have two pair with honors and a potential chow. That's three blocks. 
but we need two more. So this hand is not, you know, super good. It's decent, but we have a ways to go here. Five dots. Eight bamboos. Seven dots. We got a crack. We got a chow in here. Five, six, seven. That's good. If you're playing a half flush, you can mix chows and pungs. Not a problem. Because half flush is three fawn. Four dots. So we do not want dots and bams. We need to discard those. We want to pair up the honors. Honors are wins and dragons. And then we want to pair up or chow with our cracks. Three dots. There's a pair, but we don't want it because it's off suit. We're collecting cracks. If we had done that, we would have brought our score down by three fawn. Mixing chows and puns in number tiles, that will drive your score down by three fawn. Nine bamboos. So you can see again here, nobody's throwing honors. They're holding them for score. One dot. Usually about the second row is when you start seeing them discarded. If they don't pair up, they start discarding them. Because you get late in the game, it gives people time to pair up and pung. So there's a fine line between holding them for score and discarding them for defense. So there's the first wind out. We're going to chow. Because we're going we're gonna to break a chow to make a chow, leaving a potential chow. That's when it's okay to do that. So we took a five crack for the six, seven, and we're left with a four, five potential chow. Six dots. We still need a pair in here. We're going to chow. Chow. And let's discard the west. west you do not want your winning tile to be an honor. Nine dots. Because you may never get it. Six dots. If everybody's holding honors for score, you may never get that pair. Four characters. Pung. White dragon. We're gonna pung. Pung. And we'll discard a dragon. Red dragon. Someone's gonna pung. Kong. Kong. See what I mean? They had three of them. Eight dots. We need an east and a one crack. Seven dots. We got the east. We're ready on a one crack. Ready on a one crack. There's one out. This is going to be a half flush. Dragon pung. Wind of the round. This will be nice if we can get it. One crack, three crack. There are two, three cracks out. Three characters. West wind. Okay, we're getting in, into the end game here. It's anybody's game, of course. Three characters. Nine crack, there are two out. Nine characters. The player across from me is probably in cracks. Five characters. They're going to take it. Could be, ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Six bamboos. We need this one crack. We do not know what suit the player to my right is in. Ciao. Okay, the player to my left's in bams. They will discard Three. cracks. Six dots. I kind of am. Eight characters. Okay, eight crack. Hmm. I, I really haven't been watching what they've been discarding. Um, it would have been good if I could have been watching because then I could identify what, what suit they might be in. But I really haven't been keeping track. They threw an eight. Okay, they're in BAMs. So it looks like we have two players in cracks and two players in BAMs. So this could go to the end. Six dots. I don't think anyone's in dots. dots. West wind. I think I just burped. Excuse me if One you heard dot. that. Three dots. I don't want to be rude. Oh, we would have paired up that nine. nine Darn it. Six bamboos. We need this one crack. We need this win. We're in last place. Huh. Okay, we have nine showing. One there it is. We got one. Ah, yay. This will be a nice score. Five fawn. Pung of dragons, white dragons, pung of the wind of the round, and half flush. And we took uh, first place with that win. So you can see the difference between 
eight five minimum and a chicken ham table. What do you guys think about it? Thank you, Mary. Oh my goodness. Ah, you can see why I go on tilt. I gotta I've gotta learn to control that because you know it does affect the way you play. But I can't help it. I, I'm competitive. I, I wanna win. <laughs> okay, let's play. Does anybody want to come and play? We can do a private table. Who do we have four players in the room who have a, a Mahjong Time account? Oh, and speaking of which, if you want to try Mahjong Time, I have VIP codes all the time. Slava gives me VIP codes so I can give you 30 day VIP codes so you can try it out for free for 30 days. And it does help my channel, I have to say, too. He, he does generously give me some commissions um, for people who subs you know, become players at Mahjong Time um, if they start with my affiliate code. So it does help me out with my channel. Okay. Oh, awesome, Mary. I'll go ahead and, and create a, t a table. We'll do Hong Kong. I'm going to call it Yellow Mountain. Yellow Mountain, we'll do low value. We'll just do 250 chips so it's affordable. Uh, I will seat and we'll do um, 10 seconds for decision making. So if you're brand new to the game, don't be scared to join because I'm going to give you 10 seconds. And I think you have to have a green stripe. Let me try to create it with a white belt and we'll see what happens. Okay, let's see. All right. Look for Yellow Mountain if anybody wants to play. Okay, Josh says he signed up for Mahjong Time as a free account on your own. Not sure if you can use a VIP. Do they have emails to use if we have to skate around that? Do have, oh, Josh, I don't understand. Come log in and play. You can come and play. Send me an email offline or out of the game out of this live stream and we can catch up uh, uh genera okay good we have white crane hey i remember playing with white crane okay excellent um okay let me see if i can find you in here there you are okay i invited you josh come and play log in and come play if you want okay so we'll see, okay, now White Crane logging in now. Okay, excellent. I have to look at my spreadsheet. I don't remember White Crane. I remember, I think the White Crane individual is someone in Europe, I believe. But I, I don't recall their name. There's so many people I play with. I forget the name versus their real name versus their avatar name. I forget. So let me see if I can find White Crane here. Hold on. Oh, I think I pulled up the wrong spreadsheet, though. Let's see. I'm pretty sure I did. Uh... All right. I don't know. White Crane, if you're in here. There you are! <laughs> I, I knew it. I knew it. Okay, I just couldn't remember a knock. Is it a knock, right? And you're from the UK. Okay, come play. <laughs> All right. Let's see. We're going to, we're going to say um, a knock. Um, this Josh too. Okay, let me invite you. This is kind of the fun with mahjong time. You can make friends. Uh, Let's see, cancel. Okay, we got everybody. Okay, so White Crane, you're gonna be east. Um, Mary, you are going to be south. Josh, you will be west and I will take north. Okay, we're ready to play. Thank you everybody for coming. Oh, you're in Austin. Okay, for, now, but your name is, is from the UK, right? 
Are are you um are you you're from the UK, are you not? Okay, here we go. Uh shoot. Oh, zero fawn minimum. Yeah. I forgot to put a minimum on there. We're playing at a chicken hand table. So play to win. We're in we are in oh, I thought I gave myself north seat. We're in west seat. I wonder how that happened. One dot. Eight bamboos. All right, so just play to win. Um, it doesn't matter if you have pungs or chows. Just get four sets and a pair of anything. Don't worry bamboo. about score. We're playing at a zero fawn table. Chow. Okay, Josh got a chow. We're we're not going to chow. We have a pair. Oh, I threw away a one. one East okay, so we have chow potential with a five seven, pung potential with a nine. Win. We have chow potential with a two one two, and then the five is isolated. Six, we have chow potential with an eight nine, and then we have single dragons. Win. So we can pung the south and eight, hopefully seven. pair up these dragons. Right now we have no flowers. That's one fine. Bamboo. No flowers is a fawn. But the minute you get a fawn, you lose that. I mean, the minute you get a flower, you lose that fawn. Okay, we got a one bam. Let's discard. That's isolated. One bamboo. Oh, the name is Scottish. You're from Savannah. Okay, got it. I thought there was some kind of connection to, to the UK. One bamboo. Okay, we've got potential chow in there. Singles, let's get rid of the dragon. Green dragon. Single dragons, not helpful. One character. Six bamboos. Okay, uh, Anak, I'm going to write this down. And again, I, I hope that I pronounce this correctly. Nine characters. Okay, let's see. We'll get rid of the single dragon. East wind. I don't know if I told you, but um, Frizzell, my last name, is Scottish. My husband is, uh, has, that's his heritage, his family's heritage. Seven characters. Let's see. Chow. Okay. Now, hopefully I won't forget now that I've written that One down. I, if, if I am going to... Oh, we're going to pung. And we have... We need to just get rid of this edge weight. Any, t any chow that is, has an edge weight where you need the tile on the edge to finish it, like seven, eight, nine, you need a seven... That is weaker than a middle weight, or not a middle weight, but a, a mm -hmm. side weight, like a 5-6. You can complete that with Eight characters. A, a tile on either side. Oh, and then, of course, we get, we get a 7. That would have been a chow. Shoot, I should have, well, no, it was 6 one half dozen characters. the other at this point. We can get rid of the 7 no bam. With... Hong Kong Mahjong, if you discard a tile that you need later, it's okay to win on that. There's no Furitan rule with Hong Kong Mahjong, nor is there a Furitan rule with Mahjong competition rules. White Dragon. Pung. Six dots. So I want this five crack to be my chow, or my pair, I think. We need a six dot or a nine dot. For this, and then we need, for the 7-8, and then we need a, oh, somebody got it. Who who got it? Mary. Mary got, it looks like all chow. All chow self-drawn. Very good. Congrats, Mary. Okay, and that was a one, that was a one, um, one game quick mahjong. Let me get out of that and do, uh, we'll do, let's see. 
where, oh, there it is, 10, okay, we'll just try this again. Okay, so just no holds barred, win with whatever you can. So let's see. Oh, you're already there. Okay, let's find Josh. Oh, he got out. Okay, we need another player. I think we lost Josh. Let's see. Oh, there. There he is. Oh, it's this Josh. Okay, I was looking under J. That was my bad. Okay, so we'll have Josh is east. Mary is south. We'll have Anak as... Um, west and I'll take north. Okay, here we go. Okay, four sets in a pair. That's what we want. Three of a kind or three in a sequence. We have a pair south. So we're in east seat. We could pung that maybe. So let's just get rid of isolated tiles. Let's get rid of the cracks. Two characters. Now, I just want to see if I can actually get some value out of this. Ciao. The red dragon could bring score. The east could bring score. That is our seat wind. Seven and it is bamboo. also the wind of the round. You play in rounds with Hong Kong Mahjong. If you, the dealer has the dice. If you win, you keep the dice. If you don't, the dice go to the next player. And once East loses the dice, the dice go to the next player, and then it goes back to the original dealer, and then it changes to the next round. The rounds go by East, South, West, and North. So a full game of Hong Kong Mahjong, you have to complete all four rounds. So it could be a long night if East does well, which is one, one way that the game is a lot of fun. <laughs> it could be a long night. But okay. that, that kind of is the fun of it. Two characters. You can do a lot of marathon mahjong <laughs> playing. Well, really any version. Okay, let's chow. chow. We'll just, uh, let's see. Let's get rid of the seven bam. Seven bamboos. Green dragon. Five dots. Green dragon. We got a four dot. Let's get rid of, I just want to play a half flesh. Three I'm going to play for score. I know this is a zero fine mm -hmm. table, but I just can't, I, I have the hardest time playing a chicken hand. I want score. So I'm going to play for score here. Nine and I, I'm sure, you know, a chicken hand will win over a high scoring Nine hand bamboos. more times than not. Nine, so I want to collect dots. Six bamboos. Seven bamboos. East wind. Oh, shoot. All right, forget it. We'll Nine, go for a chicken hand. Hmm. Now that I got rid of what? Did I discard a three bam? I discarded a chow. A chow tile, because I was being greedy. East wind. But we have a potential chow and a potential pung, another West potential wind. chow. Six characters. Chow. So we have chows and pungs. we got a mixture over here. Seven we have a chow-pung mixture in West Seat. East wind. And um, Mary's got a Eight pung dots. exposed right now. There's a three bam. We recovered. East wind. We could do East all chow and wind. just let the south be a pair. There's a fawn there. That won't be a chicken hand. North wind. 
Red Dragon. Red Dragon. So we have a one, two, three, bam, pair of two bams. We need a three dot, or we could maybe pung the south for a chicken hand. We're in east seat. We have a three, four flower. Neither one of those will give us any score. One character. So this would be zero fawn. White dragon, north wind. Nine bamboos. Three characters. Four characters. We got the three dot. Seven characters. Okay, so. Two bamboos. We've got mahjong. mahjong. Chicken hand. Zero. Zero fawn. <laughs> we just won with the chicken hand. Okay, shall we play again? Shall we raise the value? Do you guys want to keep playing chicken hands? Raise, raise it. Okay, we'll let's play one more game and then we'll raise it to a, a three fawn minimum. Oh, <laughs> Josh. Okay, you feel safer playing a zero fawn table. <laughs> okay, if you want to raise it, I can try or learn on the fly. No, we'll we'll do it. We'll do chicken hand some more. You're doing great. <laughs> let's make it more interesting okay well let's play one more and then we'll raise it okay so josh with this next game that we're going to play right now try to do a all pung or half flesh focus on those two types of hands to get practice okay you have to remember this is literally my first time you're doing great josh Okay, so East, South, West will make, I don't know who this person is. I missed you, Mary. So we'll go ahead and start the game here. Okay, so with this game, Josh, try to do all pung, all three of a kind or half flesh. Just push yourself to, to do that and see what happens. Just to practice for the next game where we'll have a three fawn minimum. Okay, so I've got lots of child potential in here. One, three, or there's a pair of threes. We have a one, two potential chow, two, three potential one. chow. We're going to chow. Chow. And then we'll discard these single honors. When if you're playing at a chicken hand bamboo. table and you have a, a single honors, just get rid of them. Six bamboos. The, num dots. the number tiles are far more flexible Southwind. and efficient. I guess that's kind of redundant. They're very Two efficient bamboos. because they're flexible. White dragon. Okay, we have Green a chow. Dragon. White dragon. One, two, three chow, or a one, two with a pair of threes. Nine six, bamboos. seven, one, two. The seven crack and six dot are isolated. We'll chow. Chow. So let's discard the seven crack. It, six dot, it doesn't matter. There are no seven cracks out, so somebody might be holding cracks, which means we should discard it. Two bamboos. Uh, we'll, uh, let's see, one, two, three, two, um, eh. we're going to pass. Okay. We have a pair Eight now. Characters. Eight characters. I didn't want to chow, chow because we still needed a pair in here and I was thinking that that three bam could be my pair. We have a one crack as a pair now though. Seven characters. Six characters. So right now we have a one, two, three and a pair of one Seven cracks. Bamboos. We still need another set, another chow Seven and a pair. 
south wind, nine bamboos. North wind. West wind. We got a one, two, three. One character. Okay, so we're ready to win on a on a three band, and there are none out. West wind. Six characters. We need a three band to win. Six and this would be all chow, no flowers. So this would One be a two fun hand if we can win it. Eight characters. Three crack. Three characters. We need a three bam. Three bam. East wind. Six dots. White dragon, eight characters, nine. Well, there are a lot of bams out. Six characters. Eight bam, three bam, eight bam. There's one out. Eight bamboos, one character. Well, the one out is in my chow. East wind. Kong. Okay, Josh got a Kong. Three. I owe you a quarter. One dot, there's one out one in my dot. chow. Nine dots. Five bamboos. Six dots. Oh, eight bam. Oh, darn it. Eight that bamboos. would have been a good pair. South wind. Red dragon. characters. No. We need a three bam. Green dragon, red dragon. Eight dots. Two bamboos. Oh, uh, no. Oh, <laughs> that would have been another good pair. Green I couldn't discard it. Okay, Nine we need a three bam to win. And really, I should switch this out because two we have two, and there's there are still two out, but who knows where they are? Seven bam, there are two Seven out. Bamboos. I probably should have swapped Seven that out. Dots. Seven characters. It's so hard to know where they are. Five bamboos. And north, they're out. North wind. This may be a wall game. We only have no, it's I I have no more picks. Pung. Three characters. Oh, I was hoping that was a three bam. Oh, I have one more pick. A six bam. One out. Let's get rid of the six. Six bamboos. Who had my three bam? Oh. This player over here, Chinock, Chinock, or something like that. Chanal, Chana, Chana, something or other. Or, and then the rest of them were, the other one was in the dead wall. Okay, let's create another table. Let's see here. We'll call this one, uh, let's see, we'll call this one something from Wright Patterson Mahjong. We'll call this one, uh, we'll just call this one, um, Pearl Dragon. Pearl Dragon, that is a hand from uh, Wright Patterson Mahjong. So we are going to seat and then we're going to say time limit is 10 seconds, so you'll have time. We're going to say the minimum points is eight, so you need three fawn. We're going to open it up to a white belt. Actually, I'm going to say hop toy. Hop toy. Okay, here we go. Look for Pearl Dragon. Okay, Josh, refresh my memory. What is the definition of a half flush? One suit plus honors, pungs only. No. Uh, well, you're half right. Uh, pung only is, well, that's called all pung, three fawn. Half flush is where you have one suit with any combination of wings and dragons. So, for example, you could have a chow of dots and all the rest of your hand are pungs of honors. That would be a half flesh.
Or you could have a pung of dots and a chow of dots, and then the rest are honors. That also is a half flesh. It doesn't matter what the combination is. Okay, so I'm going to seat east, south, west, and I'll take north. Okay, now we are playing at an eight, eight point table. That means you need three fawn to win. Three fawn minimum. So this is gonna be a little bit of a longer game. We have time to build up our hand. Look at all these honors. We only have one pair out of there though. Five, we are north seat, we have a two, three flower, so we're not gonna get score there. Because you can count your flowers as part of your score. Three bamboos. We're not gonna chow out of the gate, I don't think. No. Oh, and then I get a bam. Doggone. All right, let's get rid of the cracks. Two characters. Just get rid of the lesser suit. If you're playing a half flush, get rid of your off suit. Right now, bams are going to be, it's be better than dots by one tile. So that's our major suit. So we're going to collect dots. Or I mean bams. We'll get rid of dots. Hopefully we'll get a three bam again. Oh, good. There's a bam. One character. So now we have a potential chow with a 1-2 or a 2-4 with a 3. Then we have a potential chow with 6-8. Now those have what are called um, uh, it weights. One so bamboo. the 1-2 has an edge weight, so that's not so good. The 2-4 the has a middle weight or closed weight. The 4-6 has a closed Ooh. weight. The 6-8 has one a closed character. weight. All those are difficult because you're looking for one tile. You want to try to have what are called side weights so that you need one of two tiles one to complete bamboo. the chow. That is better. So we'll get rid of the two dot. Two dots. So we're going to get rid of all these dots. Huh. So they're going to go for all pung. Good Seven job. Bamboos. Very good job. Uh, Josh, you're doing yeah. good. So he's going for all pung. That's excellent. He must have had some good pairs. If you have four pair hmm. in mixed suit even, that's a good indicator for playing all pung. Five characters. Six characters. Nine bamboos. So we need to get rid of these dots here. Seven Somebody characters. is probably holding east, hoping to get score, because it's the east round. Two characters. So characters. typically in a table, when, mm -hmm. when you're playing a fawn minimum, you're, you, you need to um, go with the One pattern three. that is most prevalent in your hand, all pung Seven or half characters. flush. Okay, we got a, a bam, so we're going to keep that. Dot. We can get rid of this four dot. <clears throat> but it takes a while sometimes to build up your hand Two because you're bamboos. you're going for higher scoring hands. Nine we need something for that nine bam. Pung. There's a pung. So eight the player eight. across south, they're playing for all pung. And it's okay to mix Six suits bamboos. with all pung. We got a dragon. Mm -hmm. Dragons are good. You get if you get a pung of dragons, you get a fawn for those alone. So dragons and valued wins are, are valuable. East wind. Okay, finally, we got hmm. an east. Excellent. Now, let's get rid of the north. north there are wind. two out. There are only four of every tile. So you got to keep your eye on discards and kind of Valid scout wind. the discards to figure out what's best to discard. Right now, Bamboo. south would be a good discard next. South wind. Either a south, well... Eight crack is off suit. We want bams. So the south and west, there are one each out. Nine bamboos. Six characters. Six dots. Pung. Okay. And Knox going for Let's all pung. Win. Mix suit, all pung. That's Five just fine. Dots. And right now she has no flowers. Four that is a fawn. We got a bam. Okay, let's get rid of the west. 
There are no green dragons out. That is going to be a risky discard. This is one of the um, one of the difficulties with holding dragons and valued win. Okay, we got a pair. One of the difficulties is that if you hold those valuable honors too long, you could risk somebody hmm. ma getting a mahjong out of them and it being a block of value yeah. so there's kind of a fine yeah. line of when to give up pairing up on those valued honors so like uh let's see nine nine bam there are two out nine bamboo we're in the end game though i need to get rid of this green this red dragon the, okay somebody got a mahjong all pung okay that was enough Oh no, Mary. Mary got it. Okay, very nice. Well done. Okay, let's play again. And let's see. Well, let's look at everybody's hand though. So Josh, it looks like you needed to pair up. You do have a pair of four bands, so you just needed to pair up. Maybe your dragons would have been really nice. That would have added value. So you just needed to pair up two more times. And then um, Anak, you needed to pair up also. Uh, and then over here, we needed to chow and pung the dragons. But here you can see the dragons are singles in the other two players' hands. So that is kind of the crux right there. That if you're hoping for a pung of dragons and you just have a pair, other players are hoping to pair up. And so they're going to hold, they could be left with singles in their hand. So that's kind of the difficulty with waiting for to pung an honor like that so let's see if we can play again we should be able to play a couple more hands hopefully so let's see here I lost everybody. Look for Pearl Dragon. Oh, there you are. Okay, so we got, we got, okay, we got White Crane. I invited Mary. And we need, okay, we need, let's see if we can find, oh, this Josh. Okay, this Josh. Oh, we lost Josh. Did you need to go, Josh? Oh, that's okay, Josh. I, I'm going to have your chips replenished. So no worries. Just hang out, out with us and uh, watch the game. And uh, I will have your chips replenished after the game so you can play some more. Um, did you send me an email so you can try try do the VIP membership? Oh, I can't see. Uh, let's see here. Info. Okay. Uh, who is the owner of this table here? Okay, somebody has to create, someone has to seat the players. It's not letting me seat the player here. Uh, creator is empty. I think we have to exit the game, everybody. Everybody needs to exit the game because there was no creator seated. Let me try again. Let's go into Pearl Dragon again and see if we can try this again. Oh, no creators. Um, 
let's see here. Mary. Uh, yeah, every, we need to just start over. I'm going to create, let's see if Yellow Mountain is still here. No, okay, I'm going to create Yellow Mountain. Okay, 250 chips. That's affordable. We'll do a white belt. Okay. <coughs> so we're going to do 10 second decision. And we're going to say eight fawn minimum. So you got to have three fawn to win. And I will seat players. 250 chips. Quick Mahjong, one game. Okay. Look for Yellow Mountain. I'm going to invite... I'll invite Mary. And I'll invite Plet. My good friend Plet is here. Let's see, where'd she go? I don't see her in here now. Okay, and let's find... Uh, oh, there's Josh. Okay, cool. We need one more player. We need, oh, there we go. There's Plet. Hi, Plet. Okay, so we're going to have Plet be east. We'll have Josh be south. Mary will be west, and I'll take north. Okay, here we go. Eight fun. Or eight point minimum, that means three fawn. Okay. Okay, so eight fawn minimum. Go for all pung or half flush. If you've got dragon pairs, go for pungs of dragons. Okay, now this is going to be a challenge because we have four bams, three cracks, and three dots. That is a rough start. We have one pair. Now we have two pair. Let's get rid of. Let's get rid of the three dot. Three oh. dot. So now we have more bams than we do anything else. But we do have a pair of nine cracks. So we're just gonna have to wait and see if we can pair up. If we can get more pairs, we can go for all pung. But in the meantime, if we draw in bams and honors, we could go for half flush. So we are in between North wind. a crack. We don't need a crack. Three characters. We need bands or honors. And regardless, we need to pair up. Three characters. We do have some child potential in our bands. But that, the three, four would leave an isolated and we're drawing cracks. Look at all those cracks. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, now let me just say this. Everybody is discarding cracks. I'm going to switch to cracks. Seven dots. And then there's a seven dot. Okay, let's get rid of the dots. I'm going to see what happens here if we can get cracks. Because <laughs> if everyone's discarding cracks, I do not want to be in those other suits. And then, of course, now we get a five bam. So it looks like east and... West are playing, oh, they're going for all pung. Okay. South wind. Two dots. Really, bams are looking good seven right now. Characters. We have three potential chows. Three, four, four, five, seven, seven eight. Characters. All potentials. Let's stick with the original plan. Green dragon. Because switching to, to cracks dots. means I have to throw away six bams. That would be foolishness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. She got all pung. Lickety split. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How funny. Oh my gosh. That was fabulous. <laughs> okay, let's play again. Wow. Did you see that? That was fast. <laughs> okay. Good job, Plet.
Oh, here she is again. She's going to take us out for a ride. Okay, we need, we need Mary. Oh, goodness sake. Okay, there she is. Okay, let's see if I can seat. No, doggone. Okay, who's the, somebody try to seat us. I don't understand the seating situation. I can't seat the players. It's not letting me seat and I, shoot. Um, we have to leave the table because I don't know how, I can't seat the, the players. Josh, if you, Josh, if you click on the little square next to requester, see if you can seat us. Okay, let's see if he gets the message. Oh, you tried to seat us? Okay, we have to exit because I don't know who else would be the owner of this table. The creator, it's empty. We have to leave the table. Okay, let's, um, let's go ahead and see about another, another table here. I'll create a Ruby Dragon. Ruby Dragon, that is another, oh, advanced, 750, eight, 10 seconds, eight minimum, white belt, okay. Ruby Dragon, look for Ruby Dragon. Ruby Dragon. All right, who do we have here? There's Josh and we'll find Plet. Maybe she, oh, there she is, okay. Okay, here we go. Eight fine minimum. Okay, we got lots of cracks. Look at the cracks. We're going for a half flush with cracks. We do have single honors, that's gonna be a weakness. Single Eight. honors will be a weakness unless we can pair up. Let's get rid of the dots. Two dots. We have two pair, one pair of cracks and a pair of four, yes, four yes. cracks. One cracks and four cracks. Yes, we could maybe yes. pung those, but there is chow two potential dots. with the four, five, four or five. five. We're going to try for half flush with cracks. Seven characters. Two bamboos. One dot. Okay, we paired up a wind. Seven That's a good one too because it's the east round. Four Even though characters. we'll pung. Pung. So we'll get rid of the bams now. Eight bamboos. So we're going for cracks. We want to gather cracks Six and we want to pair up the honors. Ciao. Seven dots. We'll get rid of these bams. Seven dots. Well, the dots too. We want cracks. Eight dots. Oh, we have no flowers right now too. That's a fawn. One bamboo. We are in south seat, so if we pair up the south, that could bring Two score. Dots. Six dots. So it looks like we have Nine competition dots. with these cracks because there's only Nine two dots. out right now. There are a lot of dots eight out. Characters. We got an eight crack. That's good. Even though there's eight an eight bamboo. crack out, there are actually two. We could maybe use it in a chow. 
So single number tiles are okay if you use them in the chows. Eight bamboos. Okay, we got a west. There are two out, but let's get rid of the bam. Six bamboos. So now we're cleared to honors and terminals in one suit. Or not terminals. We're cleared to honors in one suit, half flesh. South wind. So we have no offsuit tiles. South wind. The south and west are going to be good, Nine safe wind. tiles. We'll, we'll just hold those for now. We need Seven we nine. need some tiles for the 5-8. Those are too far Six apart, nine. so we need to either pair up or get some tiles in the middle. Six bamboos. Oh, there's a west. We could use that as a pair. South wind. So maybe we'll Eight discard nine. the red and white dragon pretty nine quick here. Bamboos. The west will be a good pair. Nine characters. Let's get rid of these dragons. White dragon. I do not want to be sitting on them too long. That's why. Two characters. North is holding. Okay, we'll get rid of the red. red dragon. There are no norths out right now. So do you see White that they had pairs of dragons? That's why having single dragons is not helpful. Because they're holding on to them for score. They each have a fawn just with their dragons alone. We got that eight crack, by the way. So we're ready to pung. We're ready to pung. There are two eight cracks out, though. So that, we, we could maybe get rid of this west or get a chow potential. That eight crack, even though it looks pretty, it's not helpful because there are two out already. There are no green dragons out. North wind. I probably would have been better off to discard the eight crack. Two characters. The west probably will be a safe tile. This green dragon is going to be really dangerous. There's a seven. Let's get rid of the green dragon now. Green dragon. Before anybody has a chance one to dog. pair up. So now we have a five, seven, and a one pair of eights. Two. The pair of eights, though, is kind of stagnant because it's already out. There are two out. Three dots. And we need either a six or a nine with that seven, eight, or a six for the five, seven. So that's a little bit redundant. It'd be nice to pung this east. Green dragon. Three dots. Oh, we got the south. That would have only been a pair anyway because there was one out previously. Four dots. Four dots. We need a six crack or a nine crack. One dot. Everybody's looking really good though. Half Four flesh dots. dragon pung for Mary. Eight bamboo. It looks like all pung, dragon pung for Josh. Nine dots. Oh. Three dots. Okay, we have one, two, three more picks. Two characters. And right now we have really two two discards. Somebody probably two has a pair of these thinking that they're going to get a Pung, but I have a pair, so it's kind of a stalemate. One bamboo. Four dots. Eight dots. Green dragon. Four characters. There's a seven. Let's get rid of the five, five crack. Characters. Oh, oops. Okay. We had lots of pairs in there. Oh, all right. Very nice, Mary. <laughs> I just gave you a gift. We got last place. Oh, okay. All right, let's see if we can play one more. One more to end the live stream. Come join Ruby Dragon. We'll play one more game and call it a night for the live stream. We could probably get one more in. We usually go till nine. You're 50, sh oh, oh, let's see. I wonder, oh. 
Aw. Oh, she got in. Let's see here. I'm, I'm running you all out of money, I guess. We'll get you some more coins. Okay. Uh-oh. We lost somebody. Okay. Let's see if we can get somebody else in here. We'll play one more. We just need a player in here. Okay, let's see here. Let me see if we can refresh this t uh, list. Nope. Oh, here's a bot. I wonder if we can invite a bot. That was interesting. I never thought of that. It wouldn't let me invite a bot though. Okay, let's just invite any any uh, HK. We'll just take the first player who's interested here. Okay, maybe we need to call it, oh, there we go, we got somebody, oh, cool. Uh-oh, now we're getting a whole bunch of people. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. Okay, here we go, one more game. So we'll end the live stream with this game. Wish me luck. Everybody, good luck. GLE. Anytime you see GLE or GLA, that means good luck, everybody, or good luck, all. Everybody kind of uses acronyms in there. Okay, we have two pair. We're east. It is the east round. We have chow potential, eight point minimum, four of each suit, three dots, though. This is going to be a uh, rough rough ride Two dots. we're gonna have to hmm. pick pick a suit probably cracks at least we can get One two chows dollars. out of those cracks Let's unless we pair up we got a seven bam now though let's get rid of the dots Six dots. Chow. West wind. so we have two chow potentials seven there with the bams there. now Let's hope for BAMs and a red dragon. 
one bamboo, seven dots, five characters, nine dots, seven bamboo. Well, chow. Chow. So half flesh is three fawn. Even if you mix chows and pungs, it's okay. As long as you have one suit with winds and dragons. Three dots. So we have to get rid of all these cracks. Five bamboos. That's not helpful. <laughs> we need bams. We need bams and honors. Five bamboos. At least they're being discarded. North wind. But if we're not ready for them and they're all going down, that's going to hurt. Bamboos. Yep, they're playing dots. Pung. Okay, we got an all pung. South wind. Well, pung. Pung. Nine characters. Five characters. These are just cards. These cracks, they got to go. As pretty as they are, they got to go. Green dragon. Two bamboos. Oh, five dot. Five dot. They're going to chow. 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 There it is. Three bamboos. They're in chows. Seven or they're dots. in dots. If I get dots, I got to get rid of them as soon as possible. Nine bamboos. Will chow. Chow. Seven characters. One character. So at this point, we do not want dots. Because the player on your on your right Five can take bamboos. a discard for a chow. So if you're playing from your perspective, you can only take a chow discard or a tile discarded from the player on your left to complete a chow. Hmm. For pungs, you can take from anybody. Six dot. Okay, now we're cleared to one suit and honors. We, Seven there's one two bam out. So maybe the red dragon will come out. Two we can pung the red dragon and win on a two bam. Hmm. That's my hope. One dot. Uh oh, five dot. Five dot. Oh. Three bamboos. The dragons, wind. dragons and winds will probably start coming out right about Two now dots. if people can't pair up. Four characters. Pung. Oh. South wind. That was a good discard. One bamboo. Okay, four crack is four a good discard. Characters. Green dragon. Dragon out. That's the second one. Two bamboo. Oh, second two bam. Darn. Five. Characters. We're gonna need another. Okay, there's a four bam. Let's get rid of the east. East wind. Okay, there oh there's three four bams out. Oh, you know Two what? Characters. We're ready to win on a three bam now. We'll take it if we can get it. There are two out right now though. We could win on a three bam. Three dots. Green dragon. Four five five. There are three fives out. Six bamboo. Three five bams. There are three five bams out. One bamboo. Only two, three bams out. Who knows where it is, though? I mean, three bam. That's what I meant. Three dots. Red dragon. There's a pung. Pung. Four bam. There are three out. Four this is called a naked weight. <laughs> You've got Green one tile red. left. Everybody knows it's a bam. Green You're kind of out there in all your glory. Nine dots. One So dot. we're ready to win on a two bam. Eight characters. Let's hope it's not in the flower wall. Pung. Six dot. Got another naked weight over there. But we Eight don't know what dot. that what that's gonna be. Oh, oh. oh Mary got it. Okay, Josh. Oh no, that's that's White Crane over there, I think. Oh, Plet, Plet got one away from Reddy. Okay, uh, wow, that was a good win right there. 
Okay, half flesh. Um, and let's see. Oh, one suit and honors, half flesh. Okay, over here, an oct had all pung ready to win on a three crack. And Plet, Peggy, she was going for all pung. She needed to pung the three crack and then be waiting on a pair. And right here, we were waiting on a two bam to win. I think that's going to conclude our live stream. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you're new to this version, I hope that you learned from these examples, the good, the bad, and the ugly, mistakes and all. It's kind of all out there for everybody to see. But that's part of the sharing the passion of the game. You got to bring it all. So I hope you all had a good time. And again, if you want to try out Mahjong Time, send me an email. My email's in the video description below. I can send you a 30-day VIP code. At Anak, Josh, Mary. Um, I hope I got everybody. Thank you so much for jumping in and playing with us. It's really a lot of fun. And I, I really hope that we can grow this community, not just the community overall, but Hong Kong Mahjong, because each of these versions is so much fun to play. Each one of them has little, um, you know, fun elements of their own. So I had a really great time. Jingles, that's right. Yes, thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate you all so much. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. Also, click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next live stream, may all your picks be keepers.